he's overstating his value, I think. I don't know that he is, though. Maybe the Astros Not are over. understating it. That's what I mean. I, I think, think that he, he's balling. advocating. We are going to go in and talk about arbitration because that's a lot of a lot of what's going on right now. The, the hot stove has cooled. Uh, teams are doing the best they can, maybe, to avoid arbitration. And therefore, if they don't avoid it, going to arbitration with certain players. So before we get too deep into the weeds with a lot of this that's going on, um, let's review what arbitration is. We talked about it a little bit last segment. But what it comes down to is... Major League Baseball players, their careers are measured by service time. That's how much time they spend at the big league level. So once they hit three years of service time, they are eligible for their first year of arbitration, which basically says, I am better than I was as a rookie. I'm experienced. I have some veteran experience, so I should be making more than a rookie. So the player comes with their number. The team comes with their number. If they don't agree, they go arbitration. Arbitrator says, either you're right or you're right. They don't meet the middle because it's not a mediator. And that's the way it works. They do that for years three, four, and five of service time. Once they reach six years of service time, they can become a free agent, which is absolutely ridiculous that it's that long. So there's arbitration 100%. for you in a, nut- in a nutshell. Well done, Brad. For real. Thank you, Brig. Thank you. You're welcome. I might need a drink after that one. Holy moly. All right, so we're going to go down the list of teams who uh, – we're going to go down the list of every team and the arbitration situation for players of note – up to now brad take it away with the angels the angels they uh have not reached an agreement with uh hunter renfro shohei otani his five years of service time uh reached a 30 million dollar one-year deal in october he will be a free agent next year if if they don't get an extension very exciting for many of us um geo or shellad no agreement reached um and uh, Jared Walsh, I feel like that's a big deal for the Angels. They reached a $2.65 million agreement. And Taylor Ward also got a, a $2.75 million agreement uh, to avoid arbitration. Other than that, they have Luis Rengifo, Rengifo, sorry, He was kind of a killer part of part way through the season. Uh, he uh, and Gio Urshela and Hunter Renfro, uh, it says they're going to exchange numbers, could still mm-hmm. go to arbitration. Yeah. The Astros have eight players who are arbitration eligible. Only one of them, excuse me, two of them are going to need to exchange figures. That's Kyle Tucker and Christian Javier. Everybody else on the list has made some sort of settlement. They've agreed. Phil Mayton, Mayton, for those of you French speakers out there, Ryan Stanek, Framber Valdez, Jose Urquidy, Blake Taylor, and Mauricio Dubon. I'm surprised they haven't reached a number with Kyle Tucker, and That's, it might be that he yeah he, he's he's overstating his value. I think I don't know that he is though. Maybe the Astros are over. understating it. That's what I mean. I, I think, think the he, he's advocating. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. I'm he sorry. could be I'm a top five him. MVP candidate. He could be yeah, for sure. He has the ability. Yeah. So that could be bad news bears to the Astros. The Athletics had three guys, which is not surprising given the way that they make up their roster. You had Tony Kemp, Ramon Lariano, and Paul Blackburn. All of them have reached agreements. Um, Tony Kemp is on a $3.725 million deal. Uh, Ramon Lariano, 3.55, and Paul Blackburn, 1.9. The Blue Jays had 12 players go to uh, need an extension or or potential arbitration. Bo Bichette is the only one in this list who has uh, needs to exchange numbers because they were they were unable to reach an agreement. Um, Adam Simber, Trevor Richards, Danny Jansen, Vlad Guerrero Jr. with just over three years of service time is at $14.5 million agreement. Um, Tim Meza, Kevin Biggio, Eric Swanson, Trent Thornton, Jordan Romano, Santiago Espinal, and Dalton Varsho are all uh, in agreement with the Blue Jays. Uh, Eric Swanson's an interesting one because he got traded from the Mariners to the Blue Jays. And um, I thought he'd gotten at least two. He he was good last year. Yeah, 1.25. Whatever. There was something going on. The Mariners didn't use him in the postseason. Then they traded him away like right away. So I wonder Mm. if there's something else there. But anyway, must be the Braves had eight arbitration eligible players. The only guy it looks like they haven't agreed with is Max Freed. Um, other than that, they've got Joe Jimenez, AJ Minter, Mike Soroka, 
Tyler Matzik, Lucas Lukey, Dennis Santana, and Sean Murphy. Sean, Sean Murphy signed a six-year, $73 million extension. Wow. So that's And that was great. just this month. Yeah, that was a big old fatty fat number. Yeah. Big deal for him. Good for him to get that. And he's barely Milwaukee. got over three years of service time. Exactly. Milwaukee had 14 players come eligible for arbitration agreements. Um, as of right now, Corbin Burns is the only one that will need to exchange numbers. He's got just over four years of service time under his belt. Everybody else, and listen to the names on this list, Victor Carantini, Brandon Woodruff, Matt Bush, Willie Adamas, uh, Eric Lauer, Adrian Hauser, Rowdy Telez, Luis Arias, um, Hobby Milner, Devin Williams, Mike Brousseau, Keston Hura, and Abraham Toro have all agreed. And what's interesting about this is most of these guys are in their third year of service time. There's a couple like Carantini's in his fifth, uh, Woodruff and Bush are in their fourth, Adamas and, and Corbin Burns are in their fourth. Uh, but there's a bunch of these guys who are well under that six year uh, mm -hmm. so, free agency mark. Something with Corbin Burns, real quick. Um, I follow a guy because he's somebody I actually worked with at the Arm Owls. Uh, he works in the Brewers organization now. Yeah. And he uh, he did a blind resume of comparing three pitchers. And I won't go like all into it, but he compared Max Fried, Julio Urias, and Corbin Burns. And uh, it, he talked about how Max Fried got 13 and a half million versus 15 million. Um, Urias settled for 14.25 and Corbin Burns is like, they're like, it looks like they're like $700,000 apart at 10.1. Oh no, it's 10 versus 10.8. So $8.8 .8 .8 million apart, $800,000 apart. Mm -hmm. But his numbers are by far the best out of the three. Right. And so it's almost like, that's not a, a that doesn't seem like a very big gap and B they're getting a steal if they give him 10.8. Yeah. So they need to stop yeah, being cheap and pay the man. Give yeah. pay that man his money. <laughs> um, the Cardinals had 10 players who were arbitration eligible had Jordan Montgomery, Chris Stanton, Jack Flaherty, Jordan Hicks, Dakota Hudson, Tyler O'Neill with a never mind Mariners fan thing. Anyway, Tommy <laughs> Edmond Ryan Helsley, Andrew Knitzer, and Genesis Cabrera. Um, you've got Ryan Helsley and Genesis Cabrera who have not reached an agreement yet. Um, the big one out of that group, though, is Jordan Montgomery getting ten million dollars, but he's got over yeah. five years of service time, so he's yeah about due. Well, and he's good, by the way. So BT Dub, that's right. That doesn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Moving to Northside Chicago, the Cubbies had six players up for this uh, situation here. They've all agreed. There are no exchanges of numbers necessary. Ian Happ, Rowan Wick, Nico Horner, Cody Hauer, Hewer, Cody Hewer, Denise, I need help, Nick Madrigal, <laughs> and Adrian Sampson. All, all six are, are good to go. Cubs have locked Good in. for them. Diamondbacks had six. Carson Kelly, Christian Walker, Zach Gallen, Cole Solzer. Josh Rojas and Kyle Lewis. Uh, poor Kyle Lewis probably had to just settle for whatever they offered him because that dude has had been driving the struggle bus the last two years. Um, driving it. Yep. But Josh Rojas, they have not reached an agreement yet. Um, he's a local dude, so fans love him. And I wonder if he's going to take that to the table as part of like, look. Of course, of course he will. Yeah. I would. Why not? Yeah. Good for Christian Walker and Zach Gallen, though. I think those are the two names I was most excited to see. Uh, mm -hmm. Christian Walker walked away with 6.5 and Zach Gallon just a little over five and a half. So yeah, very exciting. Zach Gallon certainly earned it this last year. So did Christian Walker with mind. that gold glove. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. they both did great for sure. The Dodgers had 10 players up for arbitration. The only one who didn't reach an agreement was Tony Gonsolin. Everybody else did. That's Julio Arias, Walker Bueller, Caleb Ferguson, Yancey Almonte, Will Smith, Dustin May, Tracy Thompson, Bruce Dar, Grotterall, and Evan Phillips. <clears throat> Excuse me. Everybody else, uh, all those players agreed. Don't have to exchange numbers. It's very nice. Nice. Giants had 10 players. Scott Alexander, John Brebia, Jacob Junis, 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 hmm, Austin yes. Slater, J.D. Davis, Mike Yastrzemski, Logan Webb, Lamont Wade Jr., Tyler Rogers and Tyro Estrada. It looks like they've all agreed. 
So good for them. Yeah. Watch out for Tyro Estrada. He's going to mature into a quite the quite the ball player, I feel like. Yeah. When he's, he's only, only got at two, two service time. So exactly. Yeah. Got Just a lot you of wait. Control left of him. Yeah. Cleveland. Cleveland's baseball team yet to be renamed. We've got um, Ed Rosario, <laughs> Shane Bieber, Cal Quantrill, Josh Naylor, Zach Plesak. That's how you say his name. Aaron Savali and James Karinchak. Wow. Jeez. Uh, they've all ag- agreed to uh, arbitration numbers, to avoid arbitration rather, and, and they're getting paid. So it's nice. Good for Shane Bieber getting $10 million. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> That's a good deal for him. And yeah. Josh Naylor pulling down th- just over three and a quarter. With even though he's rocking his baby now, he can rock the baby to sleep in a in a very plush crib. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly right. So the Marlins had nine players: Joey Wendell, Garrett Cooper, Dylan Floro, Jacob Stallings, Pablo Lopez, Tanner Scott, John Birdie, J.T. Chargua, and Chargua, Jesus Lazardo. Um, so Chargua, he actually reached a one-year deal, so he's good. Um, but it looks like uh, John Birdie and Ho- uh, Jesus Lazardo are the only guys who have not reached yet. Joey Wendell coming over from the Rays, that's a, uh, he's going to be like the, the cornerstone for them for at least one more year, right? He's like the they dude. have to be. He needs to be, yeah. Yeah, and at $6 million. So cheap for <laughs> such a – yeah, it's a steal. Yes, like he, I, I wouldn't say he's a ten million dollar guy, but what he brings to the table for the Marlins right now, yeah, it's a good deal. They need him bad. They need him bad. Uh, Mariners, Brad's going to weigh in on every one of these if he wants to. T- uh, Tiasca Hernandez needs to exchange numbers. Tom Murphy uh, does not. One point six two five million dollars. Diego Castillo needs to exchange numbers. Paul Seawald does not. Dylan Moore needs to exchange numbers. Ty France. Does not. I'm really happy to hear about Ty France, by the way. Yeah, me too. Ty France, I think I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, if he gets off to a good start, if they extend him long term. Yeah. I'm yeah. hoping for the same thing with Teoscar Hernandez because he's going to be a free agent after this year. And I really don't want him to test the waters because he gone if that's the case. Um, yep. I'm hoping that the reason they haven't reached yet is because they're trying to get him to sign a long term deal. Yeah, that makes like, sense. I would love to have him around. Tom Murphy coming off an injury. That's like perfect for him. Paul Seawald, that's a great deal for him because when he's on, that dude is on for months at a time. Um, Dylan Moore, it's interesting because he's a utility player. Diego Castillo was so up and down. Like he's streaky, but it's Mm -hmm. like on a week, off a week, on a week, off a week. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see what they come up with him. So there you go. Cool. All those guys at the Mariners, all six of them. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Thanks, the Brad. Mets, yeah, the Mets had eight players: uh, Tomas Nito, Jeff McNeil, Joey Lucchesi. Is that how you say that? Lucchesi, Lucchesi, Lucchesi. Uh, Eliza Hernandez, Drew Smith, Pete Alonzo, uh, Luis Guillerme, and Jeff Brigham. You need to buy a <gasps> jersey. I should. Oh, I really should. <laughs> you should. You should. Anyway, um, the big one there is Pete Alonso getting fourteen and a half million dollars with four years of service time. If they don't sign, if they're throwing money around and they don't sign him to a big fatty fat long term deal, they're fools. They need to. He should feel. Him. He should Especially feel guilted. He should because that's a steal. Yeah, yeah. Fourteen and a half. He yeah. They need to extend him and pay the dude. Yeah, pay that yeah. man his money. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to the Walgreens Nationals. Washington Nationals, Carl Edwards Jr. Uh, d- so let me just say this. Victor Robles has not figured it out. They got to exchange numbers, and he's the only one. Everybody else has exchanged numbers so or has agreed. Carl Edwards Jr., Tanner Rainey, um, Hunter Harvey agreed to just a one-year deal. Uh, Victor Arano, Lane Thomas, Ildemaro Vargas and Kyle Finnegan. Why do I get all the hard names? This is awesome. I don't know. You know what's funny though is like you go through and you see a lot of these deals, like the, the teams and these players have agreed on uh, yeah. to avoid arbitration. And most of them are at least a million dollars, like maybe 1.5. Yeah. The Nats have <laughs> two <laughs> under a million dollars. Yeah, they do. Holy cow. They're just barely under, but they're not in the million dollar range. Right. Yeah. But still, they didn't crack the million dollars like. 
And I forgot Carl knows Carl Edwards Jr. was still playing baseball, but that's just me. Anyway. What? All right. It's true. So the Orioles had six players. Um, the only one they have not reached with is Austin Voth. Other than that, they got Anthony Santander. Good for them for reaching with him. I think that's a good deal. 7.4. Uh, he's earned it. Cedric Mullins is getting low balled. Austin, ha- mm-hmm. Austin Hayes, Dylan Tate, and Jorge Mateo. By the way, Cedric Mullins is at 4.1. Yep. That's a, that's a team friendly deal. It's because he's it's because he only has three years of service time. But he's, I know, but still, I know, I agree. Give with Give the you. dude like five at least. Give it, yeah. The Padres had eight. They've agreed with every one of them: Josh Hader, Juan Soto, Tim Hill, Jose Castillo, Austin Nola, Trent Grisham, Adrian Marajon, and Jake Cronenworth. All of them have agreed. No problems there. One noteworthy one, or excuse me, two. Jose Castillo, $730,000, and Adrian Marajon, $800,000. Well, Juan Soto is $23 million. He's got four years of service time. I wonder if they're just going to sit. I would. I'd wait. Yeah. If he does well, reevaluate. If he doesn't, let him go. Yeah. Yeah, because maybe maybe San Diego is not a good fit for him. But, yeah, it's in, they've got two more years of control on him. So. Yeah, we'll see what they happens. They have no reason to extend him if they don't want to. Mm-mm. The Phillies had eight players. They have not agreed with Jose Alvarado and Sir Anthony Dominguez. Uh, other than that, they got Reese Hoskins with, with $12 million, Jake Cave, Ranger Suarez, Gregory Soto, who they traded for from the Tigers recently, by the way, mm-hmm. Sam Coonrod, and Edmund and Edmundo Sosa. Everybody else has agreed. There's a couple more... Uh, yeah, deals under a million dollars. Economical. Yep. Let's go to let's go to economy baseball. Speaking of economy baseball, Pittsburgh Pirates had six players arbitration eligible. The only one, the only I am shocked we have to talk about this. The only one not to have reached is G Man Choi. Uh, he has over five years of service time. They're going to exchange numbers. Shade. Yeah, they. I'm telling you what, the whole league has been undervaluing G-Man Choi since forever. And he had he had his really good chance with uh, Tampa Bay, but then their deep playoff runs ended, and otherwise the whole world would appreciate G-Man Choi more. He was part yeah. of that New York uh, next man up situation we had where we were rotating first baseman the oh, whole yeah, yeah. season a while ago. Yeah, he was part of that, and he was great. I just love. I like the fire and the energy. Anyway, everybody else has agreed. Robert Stevenson, Miguel Andujar, is that where he's playing now? <laughs> Same thought. <laughs> That's wonderful. I'm really happy for him. Get out of here, it's Mickey Two Bags. Pittsburgh, good for him. He is. Uh, Dane Underwood Jr., <laughs> Mitch Keller, and JT Brubaker. Have all reached uh, with Pittsburgh. I'm actually happy for Miggy that he's in. Miggy Two Bags is in Pittsburgh, ladies and gentlemen. You know what, we though, didn't like, know. Like the Pirates could be sneaky good. They, like and you know, half they have. They're yeah. not going to trade away Brian Reynolds. They got O'Neill mm-hmm. Cruz. They got Key Brian Hayes. Now they've got G Man Choi and Miguel Andujar. Like and they just signed a uh, Kutch for one last farewell tour year. Yeah, like get that. Get some pretty good pitching in there. You might have a not bad team. Yeah, you could be Baltimore a couple years ago. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Fascinating. Like that though. sneaky build. Yeah. At least, at the very least, interesting to watch. Totally. Unlike how they have been. Or uh, interesting Rangers... to watch how they blow it because they are also not incapable of taking <laughs> wonderful chess pieces and just rolling over. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, the Rangers had five, and they all five reached an agreement. Mitch Garver, Brett Martin, Taylor Hearn, Jonathan Hernandez, and Nathaniel and Lau. I think it's Lau. Maybe it's Lowe. I think so. Maybe Lau plays what? for Tampa for plays for Tampa Bay. Anyway, Nathaniel Lowe. Lau does play for Tampa Bay, by the way. There we go. That's who I was thinking Speak, of. Speaking of Tampa Bay, let's move on. Um, Yandy Diaz has not reached an agreement and will exchange numbers. So is Jeffrey Springs, Harold Ramirez, Colin Poche, Pete Fairbanks, Ryan Thompson, and Jason Adam. Uh, Trouble in Paradise, that's a lot of names on the list of 14 total. Um, <clears throat> half. It's half. So the ones who have reached agreements are Yanni Chirinos, 
Sean Armstrong, Jalen Beeks, Andrew Kittredge, Francisco Mejia. That's how you say that. Christian Bet Bethencourt. I always want to call him Bettencourt, but it's Bethencourt, and it bugs me. And then Randy or Rosarina, which is a good undervalued, one. obviously undervalued. Four million dollars. Four million dollars. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that half that group is potentially going to go to arbitration because they're like, no, we are not paying you what you want because yeah. we are cheap. Yeah, but. and the players are like, we are really talented <laughs> because yes, they are exactly. We get you to the playoffs every year. Okay, yeah. let's go to the Red Sox. They had eight. Um, looks like they've they've agreed with everybody. Uh, Ryan Brazier. 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 Wow, that was terrible. That's what happens when you nice. watch games. The volume down break. Yeah. Um, Raphael <laughs> yeah. Devers, Nick Pavetta, Alex Verdugo, Rob Resnider, um, Christian Arroyo, Josh Taylor, and Reese McGuire all agree. Good for them. good for them, and, but notable Raphael Devers. They agreed to a seventeen and a half million dollar deal to avoid arbitration, and then he got a three point or three hundred thirteen million dollar extension over ten for years. ten years. Yeah. In Cincinnati, the Reds uh, have reached agreements with all seven players: Buck Farmer, Luis Sessa. That's a shame, Luis Sessa. Uh, Kevin Newman, Lucas Sims, Nick Senzel, uh, Justin Dunn, and T. H. Antone, I think is how you say that name. Yeah, Justin Dunn. I think that's a perfect number for him because he was out for he's missed like a season and a half, I believe, with a shoulder yeah. injury. Nine hundred thousand dollars. If he can get healthy, get, they'll have a good yes. they'll have a good pitcher. Sessa is the same way, man. Two two point six five is a great little sweet spot for him for his last year before he's a free agent. Let's see how he does. It's great. Yeah. The Rockies had five players. They breached with all of them. Brent Suter, uh, Danielson Lamette, Tyler Kinley, Austin Gomber, and Brendan Rogers. I do not follow the Rockies even in the slightest, so I don't know about any of those guys. Cool story. The Royals had, <laughs> had nine players, uh, and Brady Singer is the only one who have, has not yet um, reached an agreement. They will exchange numbers. We had Amir Garrett, uh, Al Adelberto Mondesi. That's how you say his name. Brad Keller, Scott Barlow, Nikki Lopez, Taylor Clark, Josh Straumont, and Chris Bubik are the only, are the other ones they've all reached agreements with, and they're all over a million dollars. Nice. The Tigers had four players. The only only guy they haven't agreed to. Oh no, they did. Sorry, it wasn't highlighted, so I didn't. I couldn't tell. They've agreed with everybody. Mm -hmm. They have a, a deal in place. Jose Cis Cisnero, Austin Meadows, Tyler Alexander, and Ronnie Garcia has a one year. They reached an agreement on a one year deal. So yeah. there's that. Minnesota, Minnesota, Luis Arias is the only one in Minnesota that has not yet reached arbitration agreements and will exchange numbers. All of the other seven players have Emilio Pagan, Pagan, maybe Pagan. I don't know. Tyler, Tyler, May, Molly, Mahale, Mahale, <laughs> Tyler, <laughs> Caleb, Thielbar. Why is this happening? Kyle Farmer, Jorge Lopez, Chris Paddock. Um, Jorge Alcala, I can say that one. Kyle Garlic. Nice. That's his name. Garlic. Oh, oh it's, there's a note with Garlic that says that he is currently in DFA limbo. <gasps> bum, bum, bum. Yeah, that's a big deal. Yeah, big is. deal for him. White Sox have five players. They've all reached an agreement. Lucas Gilito, Ronaldo, Lopez, Dylan Cease, Jose Ruiz, and Michael Kopech. All of them. The Yankees, with their killer farm system, are boasting 12 names that reached arbitration. All of them reached an agreement, but Glaber Torres. Glaber Torres is going to go to arbitration. He has a little over four years of service time in the tank, and uh, there's a lot of talk about trading him anyway. So it's pretty yeah, interesting. Yeah, it's true. I remember that, yeah, there were rumors early on in the offseason. You're right. Still going, but obviously mm. this takes precedent, so we'll see. Wandy Peralta, Frankie Montas. The problem with Frankie is that uh, he's going to miss the first month of the season. It's recently been reported, and now we need a fifth starter, so that's really exciting. Isa and nobody wants Trevor Bauer, but he's there. Um, Isaiah Kiner-Falefa, Lou Trevino, Clay Holmes, Jonathan Loizaga, Domingo Hermon, Kyle Higashioka, Nestor Cortez, Jose Trevino and Michael King. 
that makes up the royal we of players who do not need to go to arbitration in the Yankees system. What do you think of that number for Nestor? It's low, but it's way low. It feels low. Three three point two million dollars for a guy that was an all star, had his breakout season, carried the team for a long time, is Mr. Reliable when Garrett Cole isn't. Yeah, yeah. I am shocked. Yeah. I wonder he's if they're because the he's only got guy. three years of service time. I wonder if they're waiting for him to do it again. Of course they are. Like, and that makes okay, perfect sense. Prove it again. Prove it again because he was yeah, not yeah. this guy in Seattle. Trust no, me. not at all. <laughs> Trust mm-hmm. me, he was not. But. No, he has been nasty Nestor, but for two different reasons. <laughs> he was nasty Nestor in Seattle. I'll tell you, it was nasty. Oh boy. Yeah. It was nasty. It's, and now it's nasty, but it is the best kind of nasty. Yep. Unless you're exactly in right. the box, and that's a problem. <laughs> that's exactly right. Uh, yeah. So there is your complete full rundown of arbitration um, eligible players, everybody who agreed, everybody who did not. Um, there you so go. Far. Hopefully your yeah. team reaches an agreement with your favorite player, and it uh, helps. I mean, it, this is the thing. This is the thing to keep in mind with arbitration. It's not like if they don't reach a deal and they go to arbitration – it's not like the player is going to walk because they're not a free agent. Keep that in mind. Yeah. But right. the thing that I worry about with arbitration, I always worry about with going to arbitration as I worry about fracturing a relationship with the front office. That's my big yeah. problem with arbitration. Yep. So even Derek Jeter said it wasn't the same because he had to go to arbitration. I could see that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. So it just wasn't the same after that. Yeah. So because you get to see, you have to see exactly what they think about you besides like the contract negotiation. But anyway, that's a whole nother thing. But baseball, you can look at our arbitration you. video if you want. Yeah. Right. We have a I video explaining a arbitration. Yeah. yeah. In fact, a lot of people have been watching it lately because every year when arbitration comes up, a lot of people flood into that video. It is there Facts. for you to watch. 